good as to say hello. I'll find somebody who knows you, Paul. I'll bring you down. Marty Rackin. Who you If I don't, I will. That's Marty Rackin. And there's his lovely wife, Helen. What? Now, what did you call me? I'd like to know. Hooligan. He always calls me hooligan. I wonder why. Why? Brooklyn. 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 You say hello to Helen Rackin? Marty gave me my first start in the picture. This is Paul Anka. It's a racket. I just want you to know that Paul is not talking. It's a record. <laughs> I'll take it back and I want to show you this. Marty, if you hear anything at all, call. <laughs> Have we got that? Regis, you hold that in your lap, will you please? Now, here are some stills. We made this little book up for you, and we hope you'll uh, take it with you as a kind of a souvenir. Uh, if we can just get this camera on it. I'll give it to my grandchildren. Will you? That's the cover, Miss Susan Hayward. <laughs> the next page is The Loves in Her Life. Now, can you tell us who that leading man is? That's Robert Preston. Okay, and the picture was Tulsa? The picture was Tulsa. Right. Uh, the name that of this picture? is um, the Saxon charm, John Payne. John Payne, right. <laughs> the last moment, Robert Cummings. Smash up Lee Bowman. <laughs> Canyon Passage. Brian Dunleavy. Right. Fred McMurray, Forrest Regan. <laughs> Warner Baxter, Adam had four sons. English <laughs> They won't believe me, Robert Mont. No, 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 Robert? Robert Young. Right. David and Bathsheba with Gregory Peck. Oh. That is Hunter. not John Wayne. No. No. But he was in, he was the leading That's, man. Is that the great Mexican He actor? played James. Ah. Uh, I don't know who it is. I think it's Regis. He's choking me and I don't know who it was. Maybe it's the producer. Probably Regis. I don't know who that is, but John I know who Wayne. that is. That, uh, who? Montoya. Who? Pedro Mandera? Pedro no, Mandera. Not. No, uh, that doesn't look Jose like Jose Jimenez. <laughs> Somebody, you know, turn the page, please. <laughs> oh. Tells your fortune clock, Gable. Oh, <laughs> Woman obsessed with Stephen Boyd. <laughs> Ada with Dino Martino. That's right. Oh, yes, this is one of your very first commercial <laughs> advertisement for Chase Candy. Now look what I made up for you. Your latest leading man from Valley of the Dolls and the Joy Bishop show, you and I. My favorite picture. That's it. Oh, no, no. Okay? All right. Thank you. Hey, wait, and I say Susan, if I may. From the days of the Slate Brothers, this woman came to see me when I really needed a fan. And it is a delight to see you on the screen. And may I say from the bottom of my heart, you are one of our greatest actresses in Ireland. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you know? I'm not trying to make this a mutual admiration society, but uh, Tuesday, Susan Hayward called. She was under the impression for some reason or other that you were on Thursday. And she said, could you possibly switch it around? I'd love to have Don Rickles on the night that I am on. That's sweetie. You're going to work with me. <laughs> Any, anything for Don. Hi, Paul. How are you? There's <laughs> some talk Paul's going to sing in English. <laughs> nice kid, Paul. He's a good kid. He's a nice kid. Joey, it's good to see you. Nice you know? to see you, Don. Nice I to want... see you, Regis. Excuse me. Huh? Good to see you, Regis. Nice to see you, Tell Don. Joey what you told me backstage, how you're fed up. <laughs> Good, Joe. Good to see you, Joe. I have not seen any part of... Is that talking? Yes. <laughs> anytime, anytime you're ready, Dan. Okay, Dan, when you get a chance, empty the garbage later. <laughs> I don't want to hear another word about quitting. When going gets rough, they all talk about retirement. Not me. I've had it rough before. I'm a barracuda. I don't need pills like Neely. Sure, I know you dried her out, but it won't last. Neely hasn't got that hard core like me. Joey.
She never learned to roll with the punches. And believe me, in this business, they come left, right, and below the belt. That's no class, no real down to the gut class. But she's talented, Henry. She's really got it. I knew that when I kicked her out of my show. She'd never believe it, but I'm sorry for her. Nothing can destroy her talent, but she'll destroy herself. And you, lion, you'd better watch it. Oh, sure, everything's rosy now. You skip from one thing to another, one dame to another. But watch it, my friend. Find yourself a good girl. Have kids. Or one day you'll wind up alone like me. I wonder what the hell happened. We're going to do this. Tough old broad. What? A very <laughs> tough old broad. Yeah. On the screen, I'm not. No. So, you did remark before. She said we never got around to it. Why did you? You had some reason for taking this role, if I understand correctly? You mean, why did I play the part in Valley of the Doll? Yes. I needed gasoline for my boat. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with Mr. Jack Frost after this word from your local station. Susan Haywards, uh, also from Fort Lauderdale, I understand. And uh, Susan said she'd like to have him on the show. He said it'd be our pleasure. So if you'd like to introduce him to Susan, we'd, uh, we'd yes, appreciate it. Yes, I would. It. Can I move around a little bit? Anything you want to do is fine. I'd like to show uh, the ladies and gentlemen in the audience this record, which uh, Jack made in Miami. It's a private pressing. It says, Susan Hayward presents Jack Frost. And I'm very happy to do it because I think he's a great musician and a whiz at the Hammond. And Jack, you better be good. Your wife is in the audience. Jack Frost. First time we heard a uh, boogie woogie played on an organ. That's right. right. I thought I'm the first one who ever tried it. Dorsey's boogie, wasn't it? Right. Would you play it first now? Well, they want to hear it. Well, I'm sure they want to hear it. Okay.
want to thank you, Susan, for bringing Jack to our show. I understand this is also your first television appearance, national first television first appearance. Time. And when we spoke back, say you said a lot of people are impressed that organs are only used for kind of church recitals and everything. Oh, no, no, that church. Uh, I like this up organ stuff, and I like uh, music like back in uh, the Dorsey days and uh, uh, the shuffling of uh, who was the great shuffler? <coughs> uh, <coughs> who am I thinking of? Boom, 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 boom. <coughs> no, no, Henry Bussey. Henry Bussey. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> oh, really? I didn't know you were up in jazz. Hen Henry Butsey, Guy Lombardo, and Blue Baron. <laughs> they knocked me out. <coughs> Jewish wedding, please. Go crazy with the fox <laughs> well, Look, I want to tell you one thing, Joy. Yes. Whenever Jack comes over to my house, uh, it's a very nice house, you know, it's right on the canal, and I say, Jack, come on over, bring your wife, we'll have a party. Mm, and I call everybody up, and we knock the walls out. And everybody calls the police, and the police stay and enjoy it, too. She never learned to roll with the punches. And believe me, in this business, they come left, right, and below the belt. 